Hello, my name is Daniel Yu. I'm a rising junior at NLCS Jeju. And today I'm going to introduce you to second half of number theory. So the main content is as follows. First common divisor and second common multiple. So definition, common divisor is a number that divides two or more numbers without a remainder. Hence, greatest common divisor or GCD is the largest common divisor of the numbers. And note that GCD A comma B denotes the greatest common divisor of A and B. And this notation appears very frequently, so it's good to know. And there are many ways to calculate GCD. The first way is to use prime factorization, and second way is to use Euclidean algorithm. So we can calculate GCD by multiplying every common prime factors. So let's consider the following example. Let's say you wanna calculate GCD of 60 and 40. When you do a prime factorization, 60 equals two squares times three times five, and 48 equals two to the fourth power times three. So the common prime, prime factors are two squares and three. So hence GCD of 60 and 48 is two squared times three, which is 12. However, there is a limitation in this method. Calculating prime factorization, prime factorization takes too long for some numbers that are too big. In order to solve this problem, uh, there's a second method called Euclidean algorithm to calculate GCD. The Euclidean algorithm is based on the following idea. Let A and B be positive integers where A is greater than or equal to B. Let A equals QB plus R where Q is quotient and R is remainder when A is divided by B. Then I claim that GCD of A and B is equal to GCD of B and R. So we're gonna prove this later, and let, but let's, let's just straight really look on to the example and the algorithm itself. So starting with the two given numbers, A and B, the algorithm replaces A comma B by B comma A mod B, until it reaches d comma zero, where d is the GCD of a and b. So let's say you wanna calculate GCD of 60 and 48 again. And then, as I said, we start with 60 comma 48, and then it becomes 48 comma 12, where 12 is 60 mod 48, and then it becomes 12 comma zero, where 12 is the number itself and zero is uh, 48 mod 12. Hence, we can conclude that GCD of 60 and 48 is 12. So let's prove this algorithm since this algorithm is counterintuitive at first. So let, again, let A and B be positive integers where A is greater than or equal to B and G, let G be GCD of A and B. Then we can express A as large A times G and B as large B times G, where large A and, and large B are quotients. And the important fact is that large A and large B are relatively prime. It's kind of obvious, but if, if large A and large B are not relatively prime, then G cannot be the greatest common divisor because there is a common divisor in large A and large B. And since we assume that A is greater than or equal to B, we can express A as BQ plus R, where Q is the quotient and R is the remainder. This is called division theorem, but it's kind of obvious, so uh, let's just not talk about that. And we can substitute A equals large A times G, and B equals large B times G. And it becomes large A G equals Q large B G plus R. And if you manipulate it a bit, you'll get G, large, G times large A minus Q large B is equal to R. Hence, we get the following uh, two numbers, B equals large B times G, and R equals large A minus Q large B times G. So in order to prove that our algorithm is correct, um, we need to prove that large B and, and large A minus Q times large B are relatively prime because G should be our greatest common divisor. So we're gonna prove that the GCD of large A minus Q large B and large B is equal to one. 
we're gonna use proof of contradiction. Uh, for some of you guys, you've never heard of proof of contradiction. And this is a method of proving by assuming that the proposition is false, and then we lead to a contradiction in, in order to prove that the proposition is actually true. So in here, we assume, uh, we express large A minus Q large B as M times T and large B as M times T, where T is the greatest common divisor of these, these two numbers, which is greater than one. So in here, we are assuming that there exists a common divisor T, which is greater than one. So we're already assuming that our uh, the Euclid argument is false. So when we substitute large B equals NT and then manipulate a bit, you will get large A equals T times T times M plus QN and large A equals T times M plus QN and large B equals T times N as we already assume. However, we are at the contradiction because large A and large B are relatively prime. If you remember, I said that large A and large B are relatively prime because if they're not relatively prime, um, G cannot be the greatest common divisor of A and B. Hence, we prove the Euclidean algorithm is true. And this is an, hence another way to calculate GCD of two numbers. So I brought a simple problem and you might be intimidated because this is a problem from IMO but uh, this is considered as the easiest problem in IMO. And so the problem itself is prove that the function, I uh, prove that the fraction 21 n plus four over 40, 14 n plus three is irreducible for every natural number n. So I'll give you a time and my pause the video for our uh, and solve this problem. Okay. I'm now gonna explain the solution for this problem. And if you're, even though if you're not able to solve this problem, it's just because it's your first time encountering this kind of problem, so it's okay. And the solution is that using Euclidean algorithm, you can calculate GCD of 21 n plus four and 14 n plus three. So 21 n plus four comma 14 n plus three becomes 14 n plus three and seven n plus one, and this becomes seven n plus one comma one, and this eventually becomes one comma zero. So we prove that the GCD of the denominator and numerator is one, and thus this fraction is irreducible. It's kind of easier than expected, right? And we move on to the next topic, which is common multiple. So the definition, a common multiple is an integer that is a multiple of two or more other integers. Hence, least common multiple is the smallest common multiple of the numbers. Uh, also, this notation appears very frequently, and LCM A comma B denotes the least common multiple of A and B. Again, there are many ways to calculate LCM, and I'm going to introduce you the two most famous ways to calculate LCM, which is using prime factorization and using the GCD, which is greatest common divisor. So first, we can calculate LCM by multiplying the largest power of each prime number. Let's consider the following example. So let's say we want to calculate LCM of 60 and 48. 60 equals 2 squared times 3 times 5, and 48 equals 2 to the fourth power times 3. So the largest power of 2 is 2 to the power of 4, and 3 is 3 to the power of 1, and 5 is 5 to the power of 1. Hence, LCM of 60 and 48 is simply multiplying all of them, which is 248. And there is another way of calculating LCM which is using the GCD. Let A and B be positive integers, then we can say that the LCM of A and B is equal to A times B over GCD of A and B. Let G, again, we're gonna prove this, and let G be GCD of A comma B, and L be LCM of A and B. Now again, A, we can express A as large A times G, and B as large B times G where a, large A and large B are quotients. And again, large A and large B are relative prime. Then LCM is equal to 
g times large a times large b and hence if we multiply a and b we can express them as large a g times large b g and the first three terms becomes l so uh, in conclusion a times b is lcm of a comma b multiplied by grace comma divisor of a and b Thank you.